Hey everyone, this is Gwydion. I wanted to do a short video to show you a new program called Wind Capture Audio. Now, this is an extremely powerful program that allows you to output audio from any of your applications directly to OBS. So if you're a streamer, and if you don't want to use something like voice meter with virtual inputs, outputs, cables, and mess around with all that, this is a great way to separate your audio and send your sound programs like Sirenscape or Spotify, Discord, and have those outputs uh, directly into OBS. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and I'll put this link in the video below as well, is to uh, go to GitHub and go to Win Capture Audio and download the executable uh, right here. So again, I'll put that link below. Once you do that, and make sure that you shut down and then relaunch OBS. And then I'm going to show you how to get your audio directly from your sound programs. So right now I have my uh, standard Fantasy Ground scene up and running, but I've eliminated all my audio except for my mic so you could hear this. So what you're going to want to do when you come in here is you're going to right click or you can just hit a plus to add, but go to add and you're going to add audio output capture and actually before you do this make sure that you go into settings audio make sure all of these are disabled many times people will have um, voice meter output or something to send all of your output from all of your programs to OBS but we're going to do it within the scene so again right click or hit the plus sign add you should see this now with a little speaker icon application audio output capture click on that and we're going to add, I don't want to add existing. I'm going to do a Sirenscape 2 and hit OK. Now, the cool thing here is so under mode, you're going to say capture specific window. So leave that under window. I already make sure you have your program running, which I do. I have the Sirenscape fantasy player. Click on that and then make sure this is on match title. Otherwise, find window of same executable. Okay, once you have that, I would leave uh, Recapturate the same and click OK. So now you have Sirenscape 2 down here. So let's, I'm going to start a little um, sound. Let's just do Gast Battle. So there you go. I can tell you're hearing it. See how easy that was? You didn't have to switch to Cable B. You didn't have to do anything. It's just right there. You can do that with any sound program. So let's stop the sound here for a second. So if you wanted to add Discord, so let's go again. This time we'll just the plus here, application audio capture. And we're going to say Discord 2. So we're going to add Discord. So now I have Discord up and running. So we're going to leave that the same. We're going to go down to Discord. And um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it should, hopefully it'll, it should work, even though I have Rob's Discord up. We're going to sit OK. So now let's open Discord. And I'm going to go to voice and video and let's do let's check mic so, so my mic it's gonna, it's gonna sound, sound a little weird, weird. Let's, let's go down go you, can you can see, see it's, it's picking it up, up. Beautiful. beautiful so i'll stop testing it because i don't need to test it anymore but there you go you can put any any program you want there um and that's all you need to do and then you can mute from within here if you want to like mute any of your uh, separated sounds the other thing i like to do and i'll show you this real quick before i stop the video but i like to duck my sounds so that um there's actually the lower when i'm talking so let's go to sirenscape and if you right click on sirenscape and click filters you're gonna hit the plus sign and you're gonna hit compressor so I'm going to say side chain is what I'm going to call it. And so the ratio, so I want this down to like three to one. You can play with this. This is basically, it's going to lower this uh, at a ratio of three to one when I'm talking. And I have this threshold, like as soon as I start talking, I want it to kick in. So I have it at like nine minus 39 or 40. It's just uh, somewhere around there. It's fine. And I have the attack set to 39 seconds and you can mess around with all of these. And then I have um, a lower release, so it's a little more natural at like 500. And you can get these more specific if you want. I don't change the gain, but this is the important thing. So the sidechain ducking source, what this means is if I set this to my mic, I can find Gwid's mic. 
So now anytime my mic is active, this will kick in. So here's how this works. So I'm going to start playing Sirenscape and just let it go the gas battle. And then as soon as I start talking, you see how the lines go way down and it ducks. So ducking means that when I'm talking, it's allowing me to come through more naturally, but it's lowering the volume of Sirenscape. When I stop talking, you see how it goes back up? That's as simple as that. So if you want to uh, set up ducking, that's all you need to do. So that way, and you can change it if you think that's too low, too high, but that's it short video but um, hopefully that's helpful to some of you again very powerful very easy to use program that um, might help many of you if you don't want to mess around with voice meter so uh, thanks for watching uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i hope to see many of you around the fantasy grounds forums have a good night or a day depending on when you're watching this